First alert meteorologist Jeff Ray, let me talk about something that we normally don't talk about in November, and that would be the chances of another hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. 90% chance this becomes Sarah over the next seven days. Actually, a pretty good chance it becomes uh, Tropical Storm Sarah in the next three days. What you have in blue is the European model, and the GFS is in red, the American model. And what's so unusual about this is that how close they are in agreement on something so far in advance because we're talking about a potential hurricane in florida next week notice the two different tracks uh, the european model brings it over the yucatan weakens it over land meanwhile the american keeps it right over the yucatan channel of the warm water and goes into the gulf so it's already like near major hurricane strength it arrives earlier florida on wednesday right into the big bend area with the storm surge side going into tampa on wednesday morning meanwhile look at the blue it's the weak storm but look how quick it fires up and becomes a major hurricane into the everglades with the strongest winds going right up the key islands the key the Keys, you know, Key West, and then the island chain of the Keys all the way into Miami. Either way, these there would be a major impact event if either one of these models pan out. The odds are really small, by the way. It's just that already we've had three hurricanes hit Florida this year alone. Of course, uh, Debbie was the first one as a Cat 1, but the Helene had huge ramifications. The Cat 4 came into the panhandle and then flooded the Carolinas. When Milton came in about two weeks later, Milton was a Cat 5 in, in the Gulf and is still, so far this year, the strongest tropical cyclone in the world this for this season. And that includes, you know, all the way around the globe. This was the strongest system. Now it weakened when it hit Florida, but it still was a Cat 3. So, you know, Florida's already been highly impacted by these storms. November hurricanes are so rare. I was doing some research. I only found 10 in the last 100 years that's worth Category 3 or stronger. And three of them have hit Florida all recently. In 2020, it was Ada and Mitch in 1998, and Kate in 1985. If all this pans out, this is the middle of next week, all right? So there's still a lot to watch here. But what's been going on, we've been getting so much activity in the Gulf, both this year and really in the last five or six years from hurricanes out of the Atlantic, is because the Gulf is historically warm, like the hottest it's been in modern history. And you can see it's still warm here in November in the pink, those are water temperatures three degrees above normal for this time of year. So it's just frighteningly warm water that this uh, potential hurricane has the chance to feed upon. So we're watching it. The First Alert weather team will keep you posted. Again, this would be in the middle of next week. And there are a lot of questions yet on the track of Sarah and what's going to happen with it. So we'll be updating you as we go forward.